So I'm just going to look these up just to be sure. Because some people I've seen have a problem finding their drivers or it doesn't come with a disc or some weird thing like that. So let's see. I'm going to grab here and drag down till we get to these Scarlet products. Alright. I know I've been here before. Okay, here we go. Scarlet 2i2. I have the first generation, so I'm going to select that and go away, storage. <clears throat> okay, and here are my drivers. Um, this would only be relevant if you don't have a disc. So... See what happens. Mm, open. I already have the drivers on here, so I don't really want to install them and then. Okay. Yeah, I already have the drivers, so you would just follow the instructions, but uh, and click next and choose where you want to save it and. Yeah. I really can't be responsible if you don't know where you want to put it. <laughs> I just put it with the uh, on the program file stuff, but we're gonna exit that. So that's 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 focus right drivers. Um, another common question. I'm gonna grab this Charlie here. <clears throat> Yeah, it was plugged into something here, so let's pull it over. Okay, so here it is. And I think what the quest the main question has been what uh, how do you I've just plugged it in. How do you select it to run on your uh your um DAW how do, how do you get it to work um, well first of all you install the drivers which hopefully came on a disk I, I know some people like uh, a recent commenter here had a I don't know it's a weird experience he got it and uh, he didn't I didn't get help downloading the DAW oh boy Okay, and it didn't come with a disk or instructions, which is really weird. Um, let's see. So, yes! Okay, just a minute. So, let's see. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't know what to say in situations like that. I'm sorry it happened, but... It, I don't know, it's, it is kind of odd. It's it's not supposed to be that way, anyway, so. Sorry, I don't really have a good answer for those kinds of situations, other than probably take it up with the company that did that to you. So, uh, this is how I typically activate the Scarlet inside of the DAW, like I'm doing right here. And I guess it's going to want me to restart it. Um... Uh, Okay, so here it is. Um, so, yeah, let's put it back to where it was. So you can see. I did this in a previous video, but I was using the... Um, I may have done it in two videos, but sometimes when it's in the midst of everything, you, n nobody notices. So, okay, so we come over to uh, ASIO, whichever DAW you're in, you'll want to select... ASIO and then or ISO is yeah it's not really ISO I call it ISO but it's not spelled ISO uh, it's just one of those words that you pronounce without thinking about it um, okay now it's activated now I have mine requesting 96 kilohertz so that's how 
That's how you went on. Let's see, let's insert a new track. And I don't really have a microphone plugged in right now. So, But if I did and I hit record here, and then hit record here, you would actually see some levels. Kind of like my introduction to Reaper video, which uh, I'll link right there. Um, so that that's how you would do that, but I'm not going to save that. Now, what I've seen some people do, and I, I don't really do this because I want the computer audio to be separate, but they'll come over here and actually we'll right click and say go to your devices and basically make it the sound card for the whole computer by clicking on it right here uh, scarlet line out and setting that as default now that could cause conflicts with uh, your DAW and depending on how it's set up this let's see It'll probably no it's not complaining okay it could complain though potentially so that's that's why I don't use that method um, although it is one that you I have seen done uh, used rather and then uh, recording devices the, the thing about the uh, the system setting it as a system recording device is that that's for your computer system and your DAW has is kind of separate from that. You can have it, um, you can have it do uh, choose an audio device that's separate from what your computer's uh, default recording device is. The DAW doesn't have to use that; it can use whatever you choose. So it's really not necessary to set uh, the Scarlet as the default recording device and playback device for the computer, because that's just like if if you're doing Skype let's say and you you want to use I don't know a manly gold reference as your Skype microphone <laughs> and you have it plugged into the Scarlet you can do that if you want to I mean why not so that's you know that's that's basically what that is pretty simple to do it in here so uh, yeah that's it basically